um, tusonga na mbeni kana mithea kivadhu kanyoni kutula muti ndongo itia serikali nene ondumwe na ambunge kwa kulea kudhinikia garama ya mikalile ila kwa oyu hivikite na kwa mbata muno na kumithia mwene ndhi have already activated a process of going back to the people. Why? Because the people we elected to represent us are no longer representing us. So we want to tell them in direct terms and not just those of us who are based here in Nairobi, in every village, in every ward, Kenyans will tell the leadership of Kenya, what we want with our economy and what we want uh, with our leadership. We will not be watchdogs, we will be active. The reason why we are here is because no one is listening and no one is acting. And uh, for that reason then, there are various avenues that we have to make people to listen. Um, it's not only in Kenya, but there are also countries that are, are going through what we've gone through. And we can all see the damage at the end of the day. So we cannot wait to lose everything in the economy. That there is need to have a better focus on what monies and what these monies are being spent on. Because if those expenditures are spent for the correct purposes at the right price, then we will have a very a big ripple effect in terms of those expenditures. I, I agree with you that a lot of it is also stolen. Then what happens to these people that still they run for political office and they get elected. It's a people's problem. You should move out of your comfort zone and go and contest. Come to parliament and realize how government, how, how government, how, how parliament operates. Uh, so don't blame us. At times, um, it's, also, it's not also it's not easy because this is a project, maybe a project in my area, which requires money. Let's be frank. I have to work a dam, which is in my place. So are you saying that there's money here and I'll reduce it? 